what is up? It's your boy Craze here, bringing you episode two of the MC tutorial series. If you guys do enjoy, remember to lick that like button, subscribe if you're new. Let's try and get 50 likes on this episode. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make a sand trap. And if you guys want to see more of these, just remember to lick that like button and show your support in the comments. So step one, number one, as you guys already know, you cannot do it. Oh well, since I'm on IPVP, you can't build a war zone, as you guys can see, like so. But guys, this is step number one. Firstly, you need to find a very natural good spot to build a trap. And since there's not many sand biomes around here, I'm just going to be using this area. And pretty much, we're going to be just mining this down. So that's step one. You just got to find a good spot. Step two, mine it down. And then we'll come back for step three once I finish mining this out. But anyway, guys, I'll cut it for now and be back in a bit. Peace. All right, guys, once you've done step two, before we do get into step three, I'd just like to tell you guys something. Basically, down the bottom, as you guys can see, you can see the bedrock. Pretty much you'll need to make or get some cobble and make some slabs so then you can actually uh, break pretty much the slabs prevent the sand from stacking. So pretty much when the sand hits the um, hits the good old the good old cobblestone slabs, it'll break. So pretty much for step three, I'll do step two after I've done step three. Step three, you just pretty much set it up and this is how you guys do it. So you pretty much go here and that's not low enough. You have to go to about here and you place dirt all across like so. And I was quickly do this, and I accidentally stuffed up there, guys. But here we go. We'll give this a shot, and I believe I need about two stacks for this, or just about two stacks, maybe, and maybe even like two and a half, maybe like two and a bit actually. I mean, one and a bit, because it's not too big. You can make absolutely massive fall traps, like hundred by hundred, but that does take out or takes a lot of time. That's something I'll do probably on Kohi for EOTW, due to the fact that. If people are chasing you, you don't really have much, well, pretty much anywhere to go. And if you've got a massive faction coming on you, you're pretty much screwed in a way, unless you make like an OP trap where you've got like your own bunker. But to be honest, I'd make a bunker, I mean not a bunker, I'd, um, towards the end I'll deliberately get like chased and then I'll kill them. But then pretty much you can either either get good old rose bushes, which there is like no rose bushes this map, I was looking for them for a half now. So if you guys can't find rose bushes or any of those two, um, those good old good old flowers, like the two block tap flowers, you pretty much just get grass, you place it along like so, and then you pretty much bone meal it, so then it counts as a, it's like a massive grass block sort of thing, or it's two block grass, long grass I should say, like so, we'll quickly place that all, I believe we've got enough now, oopsies, I keep placing the wrong spot, there we go, so then from here, you get your bone meal, and you just go across like so. But the only problem with this is you probably need to shear to get the grass back again. But to be honest, I'm not really bothered. I'm hopefully going to trap them on my first shot. And this is still step three, guys. I'll be talking about step four. That's pretty much, yeah, it's, pre it's pretty straightforward, guys. So just keep doing this like so. And hopefully I can get this done very quickly. And then from here, you'll be placing sand over the top. So once I finish this, I'll show you guys quickly. So I believe that's all set up just about. Here we go, and the, the grass on here looks very weird on my texture back, in my opinion. So there we go, we've got that done. So here we go, we'll go like this, and we'll try and get out somehow. So I'm going to quickly remove that and mine my way out, hopefully. So like this, mine that, and then get one of these, wrong block. There we go, that's the right block, and here we go. So now, guys, we place sand over the top just like this. And then from here, I'm actually going to tell you guys step four. So step four after doing this, guys, it's not going down there or removing it just yet. Pretty much, as you guys can see, on Kohi, it looks quite, to be honest, it looks ex insanely obvious. So from here, you would want to pretty much make it look all natural. So I'll show you guys how to make it all natural right now. I'm pretty much going to go like this, 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 this. And that did not work for some reason there. That's a little awkward. So we'll quickly place that there, get some bone meal, and place some sand. So pretty much to make it natural, you can go like this, secure it like so, and just make it look reasonably natural. So I'm just going to go like this, so it looks reasonably natural like so. And I think that looks alright. And then over this side as well, go like this, and let me get a bit of more sand. And we pretty much just keep going around like so. And I'm going to cut it off just like this. And now it looks reasonably natural. I'm going to come along here, go like this. And that was the wrong block. Quickly go like that. And we keep going just like so. I'll just probably use the rest of this up quickly. And there we go. So that to me looks pretty natural. Not the greatest 
greatest uh, natural looking thing in the world, but I think this would make do for now, I'm pretty sure. So that doesn't look too bad as a tr natural looking thing, but to be honest, I'm telling you, you have to take a lot of time doing this because people aren't as dumb, to be honest. So now, step five, because that was step four, making it natural. Step five, you go down like this, you go like this, and if you don't have someone to place a block over it, you can actually just go like that, place it over. So now I'm going to tell them, don't come on here. You pretty much just go like this, three, two, one, and if you guys do have flowers or don't have flowers, get your shears to get your grass, and to be honest, I don't really care, I've got enough, enough grass to set it up again if we do fail the first time. So you just go like this. And you remove this part, and now you bring out your shovel, and mine the... Really? Are you kidding me? Alright guys, I'm back, and I'm here with Silver Fox, he's just helping me out. He's not going to be talking right now, but pretty much, that is one of the ways of doing it. For some reason, it kept stuffing up, so we've decided, or well, I've decided, to show you guys the second way of building. So this is, this is what we have in Ikea, and pretty much it's the sign way. So firstly guys, you need to set up your piston like so. We're going to have it like this. And then from here, you'll need someone for this, you'll need two people for this one, you'll need someone pulling the lever and one person kiting. So I'm just going to quickly set this up very quickly, like so, we're going to go here, here, and we'll head down to here, so then Silver Fox will be down here for us. And yeah, so this is pretty much step one, just setting this area up, but here we go, we're going to go like this, this, put that there, and then I'm going to hopefully get him to shift like this, and I'm pretty sure that will work. Did that work? I don't know if that worked. Oh wait, he's set up. He's already set up this wrong. He's accidentally stuffed up there. He needs to quickly mine that away. So pretty much, you have it set up like this, guys. I'm going to quickly remove this for him. Oh, if he can remove that. Yep, there we go. So you pretty much have your piston like this. You always have it turned on like so. We'll quickly put the dirt over. And as you guys already know, setting up the dirt here just helps you out a lot. So he's pretty much just setting up the sign. So you go like this, guys. And you just keep going over and over and over like so. So we're gonna just set up these signs very quickly. Hopefully, this will probably take a, this 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 type will take probably a little bit longer than the sand type or well, well the the auto auto fall type I should say with the rose bushes etc. But it it does the same job. It might be a little little longer, but also it's probably uh, in a way sort of they, they've got their pluses and minuses or their their good things and the bad things. So with the other one I was doing, oopsies, I need to quickly set that up properly. With the other one I was doing, pretty much you only need yourself to do it, which is a positive in a way. If you guys know what a positive is, yes, you know what a positive means. But the difference between both, you can do it yourself, you don't need two people. But in, a, in other ways, you don't know fully if they're, if they're on it. So then you might stuff up and accidentally pull it when they're not there. But then when you've got someone, it, someone to help you, can have some silver fox, can have some, and um, pretty much pretty much they will know if, if you're able to pull it. So you don't have that have that uh, pressure of having to pull it at the same time. And I believe we're just about done here, guys. So you pretty much set it up like so. And, oh, he needs me to do that bit. There we go. So those are the positives and negatives sort of stuff. But to be honest, I like the other way. I'm more of a risk tape taker in a way, I guess. And I just realized I need to actually remove the, the good old dirt. So I'm going to probably remove all this dirt. Hopefully this does not break. Because to be honest, it's actually freaking annoying. <laughs> it's quite funny to be honest as well. But yeah, I'm more of a type of guy that likes using the other version. This version is still good, but I like doing stuff by myself. Because sometimes people don't do it at the right time. And sometimes you lose, lose players you could have killed. You might have killed one, but you could have got like a whole faction. But guys, I'll just quickly remove all this and then tell you guys what to do next. So it's pretty much you just do this, then put sand on top. And then after this, guys, I'll teach you guys or tell you guys what, like, what you, for the first, the first design, that is, uh, how you should, like, how you should, like, place the blocks, etc. And, yeah, so I'm going to quickly go like this. And don't mind the sand, do not mind the sand, Silver Fox, I've got enough sand, it's all good, dude. And just quickly put it back, dude, we're trying to keep it natural. So I'm going to quickly go like this. Oh, I think we might have missed a spot here, so, yes, we did. So I quickly patched that there, and here we go. Make sure to get all these signs set up like so. And hopefully he did it right. Yes, he has done it right. Good job. Thank you very much there. And I just realized that's not meant to be like that. So good job, Silver Fox, for helping me there. So I'll quickly remove that. And now we're going to put the sand on top. I'm going to give him some sand. Hopefully he can help. So there you go. We'll quickly put the sand on top, I, I guess. So here we go. We'll put the sand on top like so. And let me put it like that, that, that. 
and we'll keep balancing it on top. Hopefully it does not fall. If it does, I am legit going to rage my ass off. But yeah, so we'll quickly set this up. And while we're doing this, I will be talking about the other design. With the other design, you have to just place a block yourself, then it all falls. So usually, this is how I usually do it. Pretty much, I usually get cobwebs and then I place it down, like so. And that's, in my opinion, the best way of doing it. Because when you do kite, you're trying to make yourself look like you're panicking. So when you get really close to it, you should just, let's just say you get hit a little, completely spa splash, depending how many pots you've got, completely splash like four pots, and then they're like, oh, he's panicking, he's panicking. And then when you've pearled, you try and land about here, and then you just keep like pretending you're getting pots in your invent, and then they're going to keep critting you out like so. Then this is when you put the cobweb down, you place it, they fall, they die. And yeah, that's how I do it with that design. With this design, pretty much you just do the same thing, make it look like you're panicking, and then get to here. You have to sort of try and be able to um, be able to not be on pull pull uh, pearl cooldown. It's honestly up to you guys, because being on pearl cooldown and then he pulls it, you will probably die with them unless you do like a clutch place of a block or something. So I would usually usually well. To get more people, you wouldn't really be on Pearl, pearl Cooldown, but it really does depend on what you guys reckon or think. So there we go. It's all set up here, guys. So hopefully, guys, we're going to go get some people to trap and kill. So anyway, guys, without further ado, please enjoy. Peace. All right, guys, I'm back, and I'm letting Silver Fox kite for me because I'm lagging on a two-bar. So here we go. Yeah. I'm at the trap. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Here. I'm about to be there. Make it look like you're trying to get more pops. Yeah, you invent. Stand still, stand still. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Yep! The one that both died! GG! We just got it! <laughs> we got it! We got it! That was so good! That was so good! Oh, that was so good! Oh, GG! That worked so well. Oh, naked as well! Let's go! By the way, guys, I was naked just in case. Oh, chuck me a pearl, chuck me a pearl, chuck me a pearl, chuck me a pearl! Pearl glitching has been detected. Oh man, that was so good. Alright, I'm probably down. GG. That's oh what I like to call an OP trap, boys. Oh my god. All the goody oh. loots. Look at all this loot, boys. Anyway, guys, oh I'm gonna end off the video here today. Also, guys, I might not be able to upload. I'm actually from... By the time this video is uploaded, I'm over over in Lancelin where I go surfing and I'll be there with my, my boy Frazman and like everyone else. So my apologies if I'm not going to be uploading. I'm going to be there from Thursday to Sunday. So unfortunately I won't be able to upload due to the fact that we won't have any Wi-Fi and I'll be surfing for about four days. But anyway guys, hopefully this did help you guys and hopefully you guys can use this on any other server you guys really need to use it on. And yeah, anyway guys, I'm going to cut here for now. Good stuff Silver Fox. Also, I was in, not in his faction just in case I got killed with no armor on. Because if I did have armor and someone radared me in there, I probably would have been dead. But anyway, guys, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. And that'll be a Koei Let's Play, then a Cosmic, hopefully. But anyway, guys, peace!